a lot of public interest on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, Josh, thanks. Lawmakers have taken the first step toward potentially banning TikTok in the United States. But the bill is not law yet, and TikTok influencers were protesting outside the White House to try to convince the president to keep the platform. Many people use TikTok as a way to conduct and promote their businesses, some even using it as a source of income full-time. And today the bill passed overwhelmingly, citing concerns that TikTok's Chinese-owned parent company ByteDance could pose a national security threat. The bill's fate in the Senate is still unclear. And today, the House of Representatives overwhelmingly again passed that legislation that could ban TikTok in the U.S. The vote was 352 in favor, 65 opposed, with all Nevada representatives voting for it except for Stephen Horsford. Cole Johnson joins us live in the newsroom with reaction from Nevadans and Nevada lawmakers. Cole? Yes, that's right. Students I talked to said that they enjoy TikTok and most said they use it daily. But they are also very aware of the potential risks involving their data. It makes me a little sad because it is definitely entertaining, but if they are stealing our data, then that's not something I want to be a part of. One student said that they had mixed feelings about the ban because they use it and enjoy it, but they don't think that people fully understand why this is happening. Also, that it's important for people to be educated on the matter before continuing to use the app. I mean, I think there's a lot of shady stuff going on with TikTok, if I'm being honest. I mean, you hear about all these privacy leaks and about the Chinese trying to steal our data and stuff like that. And so I don't think they should be forced to sell it. But if they want to keep like running in the United States, I think like there should be other alternatives. The office of U.S. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto believes, quote, TikTok ties to the Chinese government party are deeply concerning and that we need more information about how the app is distributing the large amounts of data it collects. And the office of Senator Jackie Rosen also gave us a statement saying in part, quote, we must do more to protect Nevadans data from undue influence by the Chinese government and intrusion from foreign adversaries. The bill gives ByteDance six months to, t to sell TikTok before app stores in the U.S. would start prohibiting access. Covering the story, Cole Johnson, 2 News Nevada. All right, Cole, thank you so much. University of Nevada, Reno's President Brian Sandoval is speaking.